have a ton of items to show and I don't want this video to be too long so I'm just gonna skip a long intro and I'll put timestamps on the screen right here in case you want to skip around. So I'm gonna start with all the Yes Style items first. So the first one that I got is a pair of trousers and this one is just like a neutral color. I actually own this exact trouser in the black color. I absolutely love those pants. So I definitely wanted to pick it up in the different colors that they have. I have a really hard time finding trousers just cause I'm really short, I'm 5'2 for reference and the length is always way too long but this specific one from Yes Style is perfect and it's a really comfortable material for spring summer season cause it's not super thick. And for reference, I do get a size small. I'm like a 23 waist and then again the same pants but in a dark gray version and I did forget to mention it does have pockets in the front back pockets are fake I don't really mind that so these are the last pair of pants that I picked up from your style it's just a pair of cargo pants it scrunches a bit at the bottom and it does have this little tie detail at the bottom it's not a drawstring where you can tighten it and cinch it in so the back of the pants look the pockets are real this is a size small for reference a little bit loose if I were to wear it high-waisted Okay, so next up is this little pleated skirt. It's actually a sport, so there's shorts underneath. Kind of like an awkward fit, because if I wear it high-waisted, it's too big on the waist. If I wear it low-waisted, it looks too long and makes my legs look short, but I'm gonna have to see what I can do with this. But overall, I do think it's cute. I like that it's a skirt. I do actually have one more skirt, and it's another skirt. So this is what I was hoping this pleated skirt would fit like, and it just has a little zipper detail in the back. So moving on to tops, I just have a couple. First one is is kind of hard to see because it just looks like a tube top with these really long strings I actually saw this on Caroline Hugh and I really liked the way she paired it with cargo pants So I'll probably style it a similar way. It's kind of like a swimsuit material. It's not see-through Another top that's kind of similar to that where it, it looks crazy It's hard to see just holding it up because it has all these strings just like a mesh material So you do have to wear some sort of bandeau or like bralette underneath I will say the strings do like to slip around when you tie it around your arm so this next top is actually kind of similar as well. It has like a mesh material with these little sleeves And I think this would be cute with some black cargo pants. So next up is this corset style top It's just a black corset. It just laces up on the sides for both sides and the material itself is pretty stretchy It's a size small the top doesn't come laced up So you do have to do that yourself when it comes in another corset style top is this one in this satin Like material just note that it doesn't have any stretch Structure. It doesn't actually have bony. So if you do still want to have that like corset snatched look You could always still put a corset underneath this or like any sort of shapewear and it does lace up in the back Again, this one did not come laced up. So you do have to put the strings in yourself I just have two items. They're both just corset style tops or I don't know if you would even call these corsets Since it doesn't actually have like the lace-up detail, but I'm just gonna call them corsets But the first one is just this white one. It has a zipper in the back. This fits really well It's a size extra small and I just think corset style tops are super flattering And then the other one is just a nude corset. It's a different style So it's not the same exact one size extra small as well and also has the zipper in the back so next up is Princess Polly and it's a mix of items that I purchased myself and also some items that I got through collabs that I do on Instagram. I do have a coupon code with them. I'll put it on the screen right here or the description box. So we're gonna start with the bottom. So the first pair of bottoms are those white cargo pants that I styled with that white fox white corset. I got a size US zero and I actually would say it's a little bit big if I wear it high-waisted but I just folded the hem like this. And you'll see in the picture anyways, but another cargo style pant is this cream one And I styled this in a spring outfits video on reels and tiktok really good fit The length on these are actually perfect if you're 5'2 or on the shorter side like me Pockets on the back are fake, but the front ones are real This pant actually has a stretchy waistband. So I did get this in a size us2 So I did size up one compared to my usual size in princess poly And I am happy that I did because it does seem to run a bit smaller than their other bottoms I've I think this is the last cargo style pant but it is a little bit long on me but again if i hold over the waistband which i probably will do that the length is fine because it kind of pulls the pant up a bit this one is a size us zero so next pair of bottoms are these white leather pants and i actually own these in black and the length again on these are perfect i didn't have to alter them at all the waist is perfect fit as well it's a size us zero i will say there's no stretch to this material so if you're in between sizes i would probably go with the bigger size just because it does seem to run a little bit smaller than 
most of the other Princess Polly pants that I have. So the last pair of pants that I have, one of my favorites from Princess Polly, and it's just a pair of these brown or tan colored trousers. The length was perfect, the fit everywhere, the waist, everything was just so good. Size US zero, and I will say there's no stretch to the material, so if you're in between sizes, probably go with the bigger size. I think this is the last bottom from Princess Polly, but it's just a midi skirt and it's a size US zero. It actually has kind of like a dipped waistline. It has a V shape. Size US zero, if I didn't mention, and it is pretty stretchy. So next up are the tops, still from Princess Polly. I'll go through these quickly too. This one is just a basic black tube top. It's made out of a ribbed material. It has a zipper on the side, and it also has one of those rubber bands in the inside, so it kind of helps it stay up. And this is a size US zero. It's also a stretchy material. I also got that that same top in a different color so this one's just a lighter version of it another tube top this one's a little bit different it has this fold over detail and the material on this one is a bit thicker i think it's double lined also has that little rubber detail in the inside this one does not have a zipper so you just kind of have to pull it on over your head and this one is a size us zero also got this tube top it's kind of similar to that white one because it has that fold over detail that rubber thing in the inside to help it stay up. This one does have a zipper in the backs, which makes it a lot easier to get on versus this one you just kind of have to pull on. Then I have this corset style top. This one is a mesh material, a zipper in the back. This one is a size US here. I will say there is some stretch to the material. And then this one is a bodysuit, but this is a size US zero. It has the snap closure detail at the bottom and the straps are adjustable and there is a zipper on the side. Then I got this little long sleeve striped cardigan style top. It ties in the center. This is a knit material to size extra small slash small. Then I got this black dress and I wore this in a reel. It's just a perfect little black dress. It has these little ruffle details in the front and on the sleeves. It ties in the center so you can kind of adjust like how much it shows on the chest. And the material of this is very lightweight. So this blue one is made of a mesh material so it is see-through but i just wore a black bralette underneath it and it was fine and it is a stretchy material too this is a size us zero i'm almost done with princess polly i just have a couple of button ups so this first one is a pinstriped pink and white button up and this actually came as part of a set i really only use it for the top it's a size us zero and then i also got this button up the material is really nice for this one it's really lightweight this is a size us two so this is that white version of that same green top and again size us2 and then i actually have one that looks exactly the same and it's a similar lightweight material it's a size us0 this one came as part of a set two and i'm kind of debating which one i want to keep because there's no point in keeping both gonna move on to Zara and I just have a couple of items. The first two are these trousers that if you did watch my last haul, I think the one with Farfetch, I did get these white trousers from Zara and I was mentioning how they were the perfect fit and I saw that they came out with them in green as well as in pink. This is a size extra small, it's just the same as the white ones. And then next up from Zara, I just got this little corset style top. I did end up getting the matching skirt but it was kind of big so I'm still debating on if I want to keep the skirt or alter it. Then last from Zara are just a pair of heels. I got them in the blue one and then the green one as well. They're just these platform heels. First up is Amazon. I just got this new era hat in this cream and navy combo. And then I also picked up two little fun color bags for this season. And this one's from Amazon as well. It's from the brand JW... P-E-I, I don't know how to pronounce that. So next up are these shoes. So first up, I got a pair of knee-high boots. If you're short like me and have short legs, you probably know that a lot of times knee-high boots can end up going above the knee or being like thigh-high. But these Jeffrey Campbell ones that I recently got are the perfect shoe for petite legs. It ends at the correct spot on the knee and they are a bit pricier, but when you find a good boot, it's honestly worth it. Next up is more of a spring summer sandal. These are both from Steve Madden. It's the same exact shoe, but in different colors. And they're pretty easy to walk in and also pretty comfortable in my opinion. So I believe this is the last item, but it's just another pair of platform shoes. This one has a huge platform. It honestly makes you look so much taller. 